Hi Paper Crafters, this is Robin with Robin's Creative Cottage. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a few more of my stamp set images from my Snowman's Prayer stamp set. There's two cute phrases on these nugget boxes that are from my Snowman's Prayer stamp set. This one says, Snowflakes are kisses from heaven above. This one reads, Each snowflake is unique, just like you. And I'm just going to take this ribbon off and I'm going to be using my cuddle bug to emboss this clear plastic that goes over the top. And then inside here are eight chocolate nuggets. The stamps that I'm going to use for my Snowman's Prayer stamp set is the flourish and then the three individual snowflakes. And then there's also a stamp that says, Let it snow and I'm going to use that for my tag. These are the two pieces that you're going to need for the bottom of your box and the size is five and three quarters by seven inches. And then this small piece will be an insert and it's optional. It's not necessary if you don't want to use it. But the size of this is three and seven eighths by two and eleven sixteenths. What I've done with this paper, it was just polka dots all over. I went ahead and I took the largest snowflake stamp and stamped a few spots on the polka dots. Let's go ahead and get this paper scored. We're going to score it at three quarters inches and one and a half on all sides. On the back of my paper I went ahead and put some X's and these are the pieces that are going to be cut out and I'll pull it a little bit closer so you can see. The three corner pieces are going to be cut out of your paper on all four sides. And then this one where I have the dark line here, that is where it's going to, you're going to cut a straight line. So let's go ahead and cut the corner pieces out. Okay, we're going to go ahead and add our sticky strip to our box and I turn it over and on these individual flaps is where I put a piece of sticky strip and I just lay it on a diagonal. Then on the opposite side, I'm going to go ahead and just take my tape and I'm going to put it on these outside edges. Let's go ahead and put our box together. Let's take our sticky strip off of the four tabs. Now we're going to bring the sticky strip that has the tab on the inside of our box here. Okay, just bring the tab in, fold it over. So we've got that. Now remember we have our tape that's right here on the outside of these flaps and we're going to go ahead and just tuck them in. Our box is all put together and you can leave it like this. Now this is where the optional piece comes in. You can put this on the bottom of your box if you want to. Our box is all put together. Now we're ready to get the chocolate. I have eight Hershey Nuggets here and they're ready to be covered. How I'm going to cover them is I have sticker labels and these are your average address labels, 30 to a sheet that you can buy at your office supply store. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stamp eight of these labels. I've got my acrylic block here and I'm going to use my flourish and my three snowflakes and I'm just going to bunch them up together here upside down just put them however I want them and then now I'm going to just take my acrylic block and put right on top and pick them all up 
Now I'm ready to stamp. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stamp once, rotate, stamp again, rotate a third time, and stamp. And when I do that, it almost looks like I've used three different colors of ink pads. So I'm going to go ahead and do that in all eight labels. Now I have my labels inked and I love the look of the three different colors. Now the simple part is to go ahead and take a label, peel it off, and wrap it around your Hershey Nugget. I have all my chocolate wrapped up and I'm ready to do one more little embellishment to them. And I have some snowflakes here that I went ahead and stamped on white cardstock. I just inked it up in my brown stamp again stamped my large snowflake on the paper and then I took a hole punch and this is a 5 8 inch hole but whatever size of hole punch you have will work fine and I'm going to go ahead and just punch it out I look at it upside down to make sure it lines up properly okay and then I've got my circle here and then I'm going to go ahead and use my mounting tape a small square of my mounting tape Put on the back of there and before I do that I'm going to go ahead and take my sponge and just ink a little bit around the edge of that snowflake circle. Take my mounting tape off the back and pop it right on the top of my Hershey Nugget and I'm going to go ahead and do that to all of the Hershey Nuggets. All the Nuggets are ready to be placed in their box. Eight Hershey Nuggets now are ready to make the lid. This is the plastic that I use for my boxes. Crystal clear cardstock, 10 sheets, and I get it from flourishes.org. Now the top of my box is measured eight and a half by four and a quarter. And before I score it, I'm going to go ahead and use my cuddle bug on my plastic. Let's do that. Okay, I have my cuddle bug ready to go. I've got my A plate, my B plate, and my second B plate. Um, I'm, the embossing folder I'm going to be using is Swiss Dots. And I'm going to go ahead and just put my plastic in there the long way. So my plastic is long in this direction. And I'm just going to center it, put it on there, sandwich my B plate on there, and run it through the cuddle bug. Now I'm going to flip it around and do it the opposite direction. The top of our box is all embossed. Now we're ready to score it. I'm going to lay it on to my Martha Stewart scoreboard. The first score mark I'm going to make is at two inches. And I usually run it over twice. The second mark is going to be two and three quarters. The third mark is at five and five eighths. The last mark is at six and three eighths. Now we're just going to go ahead and gently fold it at those score marks. I just bend it real carefully. and then just push it down with my finger. The first piece of sticky strip you're going to put on the outside of the box and the second piece is going to go 
on the inside on the opposite side. Now we're ready to wrap it around. Just lay it on top of your box. Now the lid can slide off easily. Let's go ahead and stamp our tag. I'm going to lay the Let It Snow upside down and again I'm just going to put my snowflakes around my Let It Snow saying. Take my acrylic block and then just push on them and now your stamp is ready to stamp. There's our chocolates all wrapped up. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.